we got to do a little compromise here today, Periscope. I record these on my laptop also so that I can shoot them over to YouTube. So I hope this works for everybody today. There. That's a little better. Okay. Good morning. My name is Whitney Nicely. I am the um, man, uh, principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses. We're in Tennessee and in Georgia. I am the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions and we are also in Tennessee and Georgia. Um, for the past three years I have been buying houses though and I buy houses on a lease option, I buy houses with owner financing, I take options. I have not done a wholesale deal, I completely understand it, but I personally feel like it is too close to what a listing agent does for me not to just be the listing agent. So I have worked some listing deals where I basically wholesaled the house, but it was just a different contract, a different form. It, it wasn't a big deal. Um, so that's what I do. And today um, I got an email earlier that one of the houses I bought last year, actually the first house, no, was it the first house? The second house I bought last year, um, the people that we have living in it, they have improved their credit, they are mortgage ready, and we should be closing in March, which is right on time for what the plan was to start with. So a lot of people get on here and they ask me questions about, do I, think this works, how many people actually cash out of these houses, what is the turnaround rate, how much do we make, and I am here to tell you that it's, it works. We, Jason and I, my husband and I, went and met with some sellers last February, and we worked out a deal. They had a house that was free and clear. It was an investment property that they bought while their daughter was in college in this town, and she obviously graduated, they let some other people live in it, and they were just tired of being landlords in Tennessee. They are landlords, they do vacation rentals in Myrtle Beach, so they are still in real estate, they just did not need this random one in Tennessee. And those are the kind of sellers that I love to work with because they understand what I'm trying to do, they understand that I'm gonna make a profit, they understand that it's not you know some kind of weird thing that I've just dreamed up like they're perfect owner financing candidates and we were able while we were there talking to them to settle out a purchase price to settle out some terms uh, as to how long it would take me and what kind of monthly payment I would make um, I did not put any money down so all of the money that my buyer put down went straight to me for my services so that was absolutely fabulous. Um, I cleared about $200, 250 a month on that house. So, you know, if I had 10 like that, that would have been 2,500 a month just on residual rental income, which I don't know about you, but I could use 2,500 a month off of 10 deals that could just keep building and you know 10 is probably 10 is where you need to be before it really starts to affect your bottom line because if you are if you are just you know hanging out or working on this that or the other and you get one or two a year all of that work won't ever really come back to you so if you can put in a bunch of work for two or three or four years and build up a portfolio that you have a solid 10 or 15 houses then as they sell off you only have to replace it with one or two maybe you don't have to always be hunting down 15 and that's the other kind of issue I have with wholesaling is that they are constantly constantly hunting down new properties and yes, they get on a good roll and they get a bunch of stuff going, but if they take a month off, some other new wholesaler is coming in and swooping into their neighborhood. Whereas if you were, and you know, they all advertise that I buy houses, I pay cash, close in 30 days or less. That's fine, 
But when I say I buy houses, I mean I buy houses. I bought 10 houses last year. I bought some vacant land. I bought some apartments. Like, I actually buy this stuff. I, I sometimes act as a listing agent, but for the most part, when I meet with the seller and they saw a sign that said Whitney buys houses, they're going to talk to Whitney and I'm going to buy their house. It may not be all cash, which is what the wholesalers advertise, but you know, the wholesalers get rock bottom prices where I could pay more because it's going to take me five or 10 years maybe to cash out. Now this one house that is cashing out, I only had, I think I had a year. So we bought it in February. We have to close out by the end of March. So I'm right on target to cashing out and that should be an eight or ten thousand dollar closing. I've already got five thousand up front. I made two fifty a month every month for the last year. I mean that's that's not bad. That's not a bad deal on a house. If you could get one of those coming and going in your pipeline every month, then it doesn't take very long. I really think, you know, I'm at twelve houses right now and as they start cashing out this year I can buy bigger and better and badder houses or I can buy more of the smaller houses. So it just depends on where you are and what you're wanting to do. Um, a lot of people told me I, I'm, I'm very active in the Knoxville area and I found out last night that I am teaching the new investor workshop for the Knoxville Ria in March and September. So I was kind of putting some feelers out and kind of seeing, you know, what new investors needed to know. So I have decided that, you know, a lot of people that come to me are new investors. They need to know the basics. They need to know the vocabulary. They need to know how to talk to other investors and, you know, how to practice on their friends and family so that when they talk to sellers, they don't feel like they don't know anything. So that's that's what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the new investors, getting the vocabulary that they need, getting the, the speech, the rhythm that they need so that they can go out and talk to sellers, talk to buyers, talk to other investors, because there's, there's a learning curve. And it's just like any language, any specialty, there's vocabulary words, there's basic concepts, there's things that investors say in general conversation that I didn't know four or five years ago. And I grew up in a house full of real estate investors. So it's not stuff that you just know automatically. So that's what I'm focusing on in February. I'm going to cash out this lease option house. I'm going to start the investor school and I'm going to have some fun. So it's going to be good. If you have any questions, if you have anything right now that you know that I've said just today that you're like what is she talking about let me know that too I would be glad to help break any of those questions down and that will kind of help me know where I need to be for February do y'all hear Abby the Labby walking around she's cute okay nobody has any questions I will hop off and get started on my day. Um, I'm also doing some live events in Atlanta. Uh, I got one on February 4th and one on March the 3rd, and I have partnered with Aisha Thompson of the Thompson Agency. They are commercial brokers in Georgia and Michigan, so that's fun. And I, in March, I'm working with Brandon Wigley, and he is a wholesaler in Atlanta. So all of these meetings will be in Atlanta, and I hope you will join us then. Thanks a bunch. Have a good day. Happy investing.